Benton, the cast Mark Benton in the oh, new okay. series. And I've worked on Christmas Lights with again. Mark mm -hmm. and Northern Lights and, and Clash like of Santa's. Waterloo Lights. Waterloo <laughs> Lights, yeah. And uh, no, it's just, just a simple love story. I play the caretaker going up in the world. Like Jimmy the Porter. Jimmy the Porter. <laughs> yeah, and it's just a very simple love story of a boy gets girl, boy loses girl, boy tries to get girl back. Okay. And it's um, it's been reported that steamy sex scenes. Well, it's not it's not steamy sex scenes. Sorry to blow the bubble, but it's 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 very romantic and it's a very simple love story. And you you care about the the two of them. It's a very endearing relationship rather okay. than one that's you know based well, it's on angst. Road or extreme fishing? Are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have a relationship with fish. All the big fish. fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So no, it, it, and it was great fun. And working with Mark was just an absolute mm -hmm. treat, you know. And I don't, I mean, I don't know how you guys did it because the the schedule is relentless. It really is relentless. That's and why she don't do it anymore. Yeah. I mean, well, no. Truth, truth be told, I mean, I, I, it's a hit and run for me because I mean, Amanda was just delivering dialogue. By the ream every day, and yet, now that takes its toll. And also, I, I where, we, where we film in, in, in this estate in Rochdale has its own microclimate, so everywhere else around is sunny and there's sideways rain. <laughs> so that's yeah. Yeah. I actually got lost in the Midlands once and I just saw this dark cloud. Went, that's, it. Went, that's it, that's, that's the it. set. <laughs> so, someone reported Rochdale as a, a holding pen for the Jeremy Kyle show. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, didn't it, I loved it. No. I, I, I did. I loved it. And I, and I had a great time on it, but it was definitely a hit and run. I, I need time to learn dialogue and, and, and apparently work on you were working out all the time, I hear, from my yes. sources there. Yes, but not that wasn't for no, apparently Amanda. Apparently you were. You had like things I did. pitched up onto trees and everything. Where, what have you been doing because with Because Gary time? told me. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was, yeah. I was doing a, at that time I was doing a, a being human. Yeah. And I was uh, playing a werewolf and uh, leader of the werewolf pack. Of course. 47, yeah. of course, why not? But it was, oh, it was great. Oh, look at you. There you go. You look it, like yeah. Steve. That was... How long is that in makeup? That's 10 hours in makeup. 10 hours. Oh. 10 hours, yeah. And there was, there was, luckily, there was only four, four days when we did that. But the, the Millennium team, they worked on shows like The Grinch. Uh -huh. And they said after a while, Steve Carey doing the Grinch needed a, a Jim therapist. Carey. Mm. Yeah. Who did I say? Jim Carey, Jim not Steve Carey. Carey. Who did I say? Steve, Steve Carey. Carey. That was his yeah. brother. That was his brother. Yeah. Yeah. Steve. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> and your your um, your son really liked it, didn't he? That you. Yeah, he thought it was, you know it's one of the, that and a little thing I did called Bookaboo, which was like a Jack and Ori. Yeah. He said, Dad, it's your finest hour. You look really cool. <gasps> now this extreme fishing, Lin Linda Bellingham oh, touched on it there. Yeah. I have to say, Steve and I do watch you on that. Um, him because he loves fishing. He, he's mm. Big, big fan. I watch it because I find it really funny how giggly you get about the whole thing. There's, you, you, you can be in the Maldives, you can be in the Amazon, you can be all, over, all over the place, and you get so excited yeah. like well, a of course, well, I get giggly because, A, I'm travelling the world. I've been three uh -huh. times around the globe. I don't suffer from jet lag. I've got space <laughs> lag. I've been around that many times. But I go to these extraordinary places, meet wonderful people in these... Mm. Wonderful rivers. I've been all the way up Africa. I've been to Siberia recently. I've got Argentina. I'm I'm off to Texas and Mexico, and I get paid for it. Of yeah. course, I'm going to giggle, you know. Yeah. And I'm not I'm not an expert. No, but also, yeah. you're a bit of a wimp as well, and that's why I can't never understand it. You're a bit of a wimp. A I was in a Force Ten in Canada. <laughs> I was so, in a Force Ten. I'm that's from a Whitley Bay. I'm from Whitley Bay. <laughs> it was just like Whitley Bay on the Sunday. <laughs> Be, say with the trawlerman, have you seen the trawlerman? Yeah, well, I was with the guys off the Brooks Peninsula in Canada, and uh, I'm not that's extreme. It was, we were on a force 10, it was a hurricane for 36 hours. I cried like a girl, and I thought, This is it. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, we were hit by a rogue wave. It's on the telly, I'm hit by a wave. I do play it up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I make the crying last about 14 minutes, but no, it's uh... oh, yeah, I'm violently ill. I well, really, really thought it was the end. Now, Genuinely. Robson, very quickly, you've uh -huh. been in America. It's been reported over here. Everyone's getting very excited that you were in talks and all this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. what, what was happening? Can you, can you spill yes, anything? Yes, I, I, was, I was out there auditioning for a thing called Missing and found out yesterday Sean Bean got the part. Oh. oh. Well, I'm glad That's I mentioned much that. That's very much what a lovely... <laughs> and on that bombshell, it's <laughs> very lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I got for the fish and Denise. <laughs> well, did, did, would you like to work in the States? Is that something that well, you Well, there's, there's a couple of things. I, I, was, I was out there for a few other things. So it looks like something's going to happen, yeah. Mm -hmm. I met there, the creator of uh, CSI. So uh -huh. we're just talking about a, a few episodes you want me to do for and that. And did you fit any CSI parties in? CSI Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> Way I five all. <laughs> hey? I know. Ah. <laughs> but, what, but, you, but you would, you'd move over there and... Um, yeah, it, it, it just depends on, on, on how you deal with it. You know, you have to go over there to be offered something. I wouldn't like yeah. to sing and dance and go for pilot season. It, it, it can be soul-destroying. Hey, you There's... managed to fit in a few parties, though, while you were there, I did, I was, I was at the Oscars party, got invited.